hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be telling you well i'm going to be sharing with you some makeup products that i've come across that do not aggravate my skin um so i've had a load of issues at the moment with um allergies and i've been allergic i think i'm allergic to one product um maybe a couple that are in my makeup collection but i think i have dermatitis on my eye which if you have dermatitis on your eye you tend to get like a dry patch sort of like in the center of the eye not the center in the corner of the eye um so anything that you put on it it will really really aggravate it um and yes i thought in today's video i would just share with you some of the stuff that i have found to be really really helpful um and really good for sensitive skin okay so i'm going to start off with skin products so with makeup it tends to be more around my eyes that i'll be sensitive but there have been a few products that have irritated my skin so i'm just going to go through the stuff that is in my makeup bag which is obviously what i use like very very regularly which is why they are in my makeup bag so the first thing that i have is the ordinary foundation so this is really really good for dry skin which i think if you have got sensitive skin and dry skin at the same time you you kind of need to go for products that are going to hydrate you don't want to go with products that have got a lot of uh, fragrance and things like that um but this has never never made my skin aggravated or sore and it's just a really good foundation for dry skin as well this is literally like six pounds so an absolute bargain i tend to find like a lot of the sensitive products um especially from the drugstore seem to be quite affordable however i have gone into researching more hypoallergenic and just just makeup brands that are for sensitive skin bare minerals clinique they are the ones that i've been focusing more recently they're a lot more expensive um however um i have always heard good things about both of those brands if you are really sensitive like i am um then maybe looking into like mascaras foundation the bulk thing that you're going to be using every day maybe spend a little bit more money um on those types of things for clinique and bare minerals you can also buy these things on feel unique and um look fantastic i believe and they do Klarna, which is a buy now, pay later. And you can also do three installments, like monthly installments. So if you don't have the money to buy a £30 foundation, but you can do it in like three months, and you can just kind of like cut the price down. It's really, really helpful, especially when you don't have a lot of money, but you kind of still want um, to, to find a good product for your skin. That is definitely something that I would suggest for you to do. Um, the next thing that I have used up because I love it so much is the Maybelline Dream Matte um, BB Cream. Yeah, this is the BB Cream. So this has got um, salicylic acid in it and an SPF of 15. This has always been really, really good on my skin. Very, very hydrating and I've had no issues with it being irritated. Um, so yeah, this is another really good one for the skin and um, it's also nice as well because I feel like when you have sensitive skin, you don't wanna keep layering loads of products. So if you can find things especially foundations that will be okay on its own. So I find that these both dry down nicely. You don't need to set these. Um, they also, this one gives you a lot more of a glowy, dewy look. This one is obviously matte. So this says it um, kind of makes the skin appear clear, visibly smooths and even skin tone, minimizes the look of pores, conceals appearance of redness adjust the skin uh, skin tone hydrates and smooths skin appears mattified lightweight feel so i feel like with this one this has got everything you need it's got a bit of coverage it definitely does make your skin look a lot smoother um and this is going to be one product that you can use every single day on its own you don't need to add other things to it so this has always been really good on my skin and really good so you don't have to keep layering other products on top of it so the next i have a couple of these so I have had issues with my eyes recently um, and anything that I put on it has really just irritated it more. The two that I, the two that I have been using though, recently I've really gone for that very natural, minimal look of makeup. I'm just appreciating it a lot more. I think I'm just um, really embracing 
my looks do you know what i mean like i'm not trying to add to it or anything and it definitely makes the time to get ready a lot easier and a lot quicker and it's also appreciating what i already have and accepting who you are and i know it's like really like cliched and whatnot but it's actually so it's healthy for the mind it's healthy for your skin like not layering loads of stuff onto it allowing your skin to breathe and being you and going out with no real feel of having to put makeup on to feel prettier because you're already beautiful yeah i'm kind of at that point now where i'm not putting a lot of makeup on i just have foundation brows and that's pretty much it um but if you do have sensitive skin and you do like to wear mascara because i mean you know most people wear mascara these two are from primark and these were two pound two pound fifty i think this one is amazing this is the false lash queen and this is the dramatic lash both of these are in my makeup bag because they are amazing really affordable for one um really really good for sensitive skin like i say i'm literally so sensitive to pretty much anything and everything and i've never had issues with these i've had issues with that l'oreal paradise mascara don't know why but it's irritated my eyes and now i can't use it and that's 11 pound i think that was these are two pound 50 and honestly they look amazing and they're also good for if you have sensitive skin um the next couple of things that i have if i can find them so brow products now i never thought you could have like a be sensitive to brow products but i guess it's still on your skin you're still drawing on your skin um now like i say i'm pretty sensitive to a lot of things it's a very i'm a very good um indication of finding out uh products for sensitive skin because i am so sensitive but everybody is different obviously we need to remember that everybody is different however these have never caused me issues. So this is the Wet and Wild Retractable Pencil. Um, I love this. I've got a little hair on it. I absolutely love this brow pencil. And this, I think it's about three pounds, maybe four. Um, it's amazing, honestly. I love it so much. Beautiful colour, easy to use. Um, and make your brows look really, really natural. Never had an issue. This is also cruelty free as well. Um, so yeah really good brow pencil at the minute i can't do eyeshadows because like i said i've got kind of dumb types on my eyes so i couldn't tell you which one is sensitive but for sensitive eyes i personally feel like a lot of eyeshadows are okay for sensitive eyes if you are having allergies and things like that um the best thing is is to let let your allergies like really really die down and then focus on kind of like which one um is going to be more tailored to your sensitive skin but before i had all my allergies i honestly can't say that i've ever come across an eyeshadow palette that's aggravated my eyes never um and i guess maybe because they are designed for your eyes from the get-go maybe it, it, they're looked into a lot more um if you are really really sensitive on your eyes clinique and bare minerals and tar i believe as well they are all really really good things really good products for sensitive skin and are hypoallergenic as well with a lot of a lot more natural products not all natural products but a lot more than the usual okay so i've got a couple of highlighters here now this one is from primark this is the peaching um highlight i use this as a oh, I use this as a blush just because it's so pink like obviously on my skin that's not going to look like a highlight I can honestly say which really does shock me actually I can honestly say that every single Primark product I've ever used maybe apart from the eyeliners um the liquid eyeliners I mean as soon as you put anything watery on your eyes when you've got sensitive skin you can feel it stinging you know that that is not for sensitive eyes so when it comes to um eyeliners and stuff like that please if you have sensitive skin like invest not necessarily invest but like clinique do one for like 20 pound which is a lot but if you've got sensitive skin you need to look after it and if you still want to wear eyeliner then you need to find something that's going to um be of good quality so if you are looking for eyeliners and stuff like that primark is not your one 100 percent. but clinique and bare minerals will do um they'll be much more suited to sensitive skin because they're hypoallergenic um but primark 
face stuff. Um, I've never had an issue with their eyeshadows. Their highlighters, blushes, um, mascaras are all okay for sensitive skin. I've never had an issue with them. Like I said before, um, you know, everybody is different, but from my personal experience of having very sensitive skin, I've never had an issue. One that I use very regularly is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon, and this is the uh, Pearlescent Pink shade. This also has never ever given me like any itchiness or rash or anything like that, and it's really affordable. So um, I would say a lot of Wet n Wild products are okay for sensitive skin. I would also say the ordinary products are very good for sensitive skin. And I would say a lot of the stuff from Primark, if you can't afford a lot of makeup, Primark stuff is good for sensitive skin. Um, but honestly, if you have really, really sensitive skin to the point where you are coming out with rashes on your eyes or you're getting sore or it's stinging, just look into Clinique and Bare Minerals and have a little look. And like I say, get the things that are causing you most issues. If you have sore, sensitive skin on your face, maybe get a, a higher end foundation. If you're having issues on your eyes, which is probably the most important to buy products that are suited to your skin. Um, Clinique, I have seen a lot of like eyeliners and mascaras that um, are okay for sensitive skin. Um, and then if you are just kind of looking for mascaras and things like that, again, Clinique, but if you don't have a lot of money, like I said, I've never had issues with the Primark ones. They are really good mascaras and really affordable. Um, so yeah, that's just a few of the things that I have and I wanted to share with you in case you're kind of going through the same thing as I am or as I have been. Um, and these are just a few things that you can get your hands on that will be okay for your sensitive skin. Um, so I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel then consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of content and you I mean I do a lot of beauty related stuff and skincare I'm having issues with makeup at the moment so I'm not necessarily doing makeup as much as I should be just because I've obviously had like issues on my eyes um but I tend to do a lot of beauty related things mainly on educating and researching so I can tell you and save you the hassle of researching it and you know spending your money and all the rest of it so yes if you're already subscribed then thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye guys